Hello everyone, welcome back to Fairly Determined FM with me. My name's Chris. Hope you're all doing well. We're doing very well. We are unbeaten in 15. I'm pointing at you again. Why do I always point at you? Yeah, look at this. Unbeaten in 15. I can't, I can't remember what the last episode was. Kaiserslautern and Werder Bremen, I think. I think, yeah. Um, RB Leipzig, 2-0. Frankfurt, 3-1. Bochum, 3-1. Köln, 1-0. 3-2 uh, against Hoffenheim in the cup. Third round. 4-0 against St. Pauli. And then we beat... Frankfurt on penalties in the cup. That was a pretty poor game, if I'm honest. And then we've just beaten Union Berlin 5-1. Today's episode, we're playing Mines. See, remember Mines, we got that really annoying draw against Mines uh, early on in the season. I'm going to see if I can better that result today. And then I thought I'd bring you a Champions League game. We drew Leon in the Champions League first lockout round, leg one, whatever. We're getting to the tail end of the season, and Bayern have not really dropped any points. They've dropped some, but not many. We're now only 10 points behind them instead of 11. Um, They've, been, they've drawn a couple. They've drawn a couple of games they probably should have won, Werder Bremen being one of them. But they just, they haven't lost. They have not lost at all. It's weird. In, in any other season, in any other league, this sort of form that we've been on would see us top. But this is Germany, and this is the Bundesliga, and Bayern Munich are a thing. We do have a chance to win the cup again. Bayern Munich, in the quarterfinal, Bayern Munich got, out, got knocked out by Köln in extra time. 4-3, that was. Yeah, so we've got a chance to win the cup again, which is nice, I guess. We could win that two years in a row. Um, we're still in the Champions League, so they've got, we've got a chance to win that too. You know, there's, there's possibilities. I'm, I'm, just, I'm slowly, slowly dawning to the idea that winning the league might not be one of those possibilities. So we had the January transfer window as well, and I did bring in a few players. I had £34 million to spend, and I, was, I had a couple of offers in. The big transfers, you know, sort of that whole 30 million with a bunch of add-ons added in, should we win the league and the Champions League and all that sort of stuff. The way I've been doing it and sort of, you know, kind of almost kind of almost bankrupting the club. But what I, in the end, what I decided to do, because they were they would only those big players would make one position stronger. What I wanted going into the second stage of the season was I wanted a few players that we could rely on rotationally to make Several positions stronger, mainly at the back, mainly in, in, in the, at the back end of the pitch. So uh, there's three of them. So Samir, a uh, young Brazilian, joined us from SEP. If someone can let me know in the comments who the hell SEP are, that would be great. Uh, 21 and a half million pounds. He's a wonder kid, central defender, but he can play all across the back line. Um, yeah, and he's, he's you know, good enough to come in rotationally in some of the, some of the like, easier games. If Acevedo or Nossa need a rest, I'm comfortable bringing in. Samir, he's got decent enough acceleration and pace for his age. Jumping reach is really good. He's six foot six. You know, play if we put him in where Acevedo plays, he's going to be the one the corners are aiming at. He's going to get some goals. His tackling is really good. Positioning can do with some work, you know. But again, he's he's twenty years old. He's a wonder kid. We're not going to see him come to come to sort of fruition, come to uh, goodness, whatever, <laughs> however you say that. So he's joined us. Twenty one and a half million. Really happy with him. Then uh, we raided Red Star for two players. We've got two more young wonder kids for 6.75 million. I'll take you through Milos Marinkovic first, central midfielder. Um, he's a natural deep line playmaker in the, in the, in the, the DM role, but uh, we don't really play there. So I'm training him up um, such, as, such as I can for the next few months as a, as a, uh, just a, a standard central, field, central midfielder. Again, young wonder kid. Um, he's, Good enough physically, mentals are pretty good. His technicals need a bit of work, but what you know, once again, he can come on as a rotational option. He gives us a little bit of options, he gives us some options in the middle of the pitch. And then the last one um, is a guy I actually tried to sign in. Where did I try and sign him? Napoli, I think, but they would not let him go. So it wasn't Napoli. I tried to sign him at Madrid, but they wouldn't let him go. Um, and I finally got him for six point seven five million. Uh, another wonder kid. He's he's the best of the bunch. Like if you look at his like potential ability. Um, however much credence you put into those stars. But if you look at his potential ability, he's going to be the best player overall. He's a, he's a wing back uh, on the left, or a full back on the left rather, but he can also play in the centre. So he's another one of those multifaceted, multifaceted, versatile. He's another one of those versatile players who can come in at the back and help us out. He can also play in the wing back position and he's, I mean, he could play in the centre of the park in that DM position as well if we wanted him to. Those three sales bring my total spending for this season up to £485 million. When you add on last season's, it's £489 million. Pounds. We are uh, £889 million, pounds, sorry. We are very, very close to breaking a billion. Oh, that was it, of course. Yes, no, so I got all that completely wrong. Forget that we're only 10 points behind them. They played yesterday and drew 1-1 with Werder Bremen. So if we win today, we go on 54. 
55, 55 points, which takes us within seven points touching distance of Bayern. Better. That's, that's the thing. Right. That, I knew there was a reason why I was bringing you this game, so that we could, you could see us closing the gap if we actually do close the, the gap. Calm. Calm. Did Augsburg win? Augsburg lost. Good. Okay, so that's going to put some space between us as well. 15 minutes on the clock. Nothing happening. First corner. Though it swings it in. Conte to... Oh, Ben Wyatt at the back. Should have buried that. It was an open goal. I'm a highlight. Straight from the... Uh, straight from that. Khalid wins the ball out on that left-hand side. Is he going to get a cross in? He is. Conte. Yes, come on! David Conte. Bottom corner. No way the keeper was getting to that. Khalid won the ball brilliantly down here. What a goal that is. Lovely stuff. Let's just watch this. Riga got done. Absolutely done there. Lead. Burst down towards the byline. Gets the cross in. David Conte rises above. Steli buries it in the bottom left. Bottom left, bottom right, bottom right hand corner. I mean, it's not been a stunning performance as we're coming up to half time. It's not been a stunning performance from us, but we do have that goal. Which is. Oh, here we go. Vowit swings it in. Acevedo off the bar. Oh, it's nearly an own goal as well. Oh, nearly two. Nearly two, nearly an own goal. Oh, yeah, it's not been um, it's not been great from us, but it's been efficient. You know, we're having a little bit more of the ball. Our XG's decent enough. They're fouling us quite a lot. Declan Rice not playing particularly well. Ben White, mm, really not playing well. So perhaps, perhaps it is time to throw Voe up top, and we'll bring on Sam Martin into the middle of the park for half for the second half. I think that's the move. Uh, I'm not going to change anything else. Might lower the tempo ever so slightly. Uh, now that we're in the second half, just start try and manage those manage those energy levels a little bit. Nothing much changed. They are wide open on the flanks. We should really be stretching the play. Are we stretching the play? Let's stretch it, stretch it, and send the play down the wings. I think because they are wide open. They're both their wing backs, both their full backs are on bookings. Like we want to be running at them really. Just the one goal still. This is. Mm, I I would really like another goal here because this is starting to feel like the the, the game of the earlier on in the season. Sam Martin's in space, finds Harvey Elliott. Harvey Elliott finds Bellingham on the edge. Antelich to Elliott. Good save. Khalid. Yes! Come on! Two goals. That'll do. That will do now. I'm just just before the, the replay kicks in, I'm just gonna lower the things. Uh out of position. Not trigger the press so much. Just lower things down a little bit. Go down to balanced. We've got the two goal cushion. RV Elliott finds Jude Bellingham, Antelich to Elliott. Does Elliott have a shot here? He does, and it's a bit of like ricochet, pinball stuff in the box. Ball finds its way eventually to Khalid, who buries it. There we go. Game finishes 2-0. Oh, seven points. Right, that's the first time the gap's been that close for bloody months. Months and months. All right, quite a lot of rotation for this game against Leon. Um, we don't have Candido or Lamptey registered for... The, uh, for the Champions League, so we're having to play Samir because Singo is a little bit, little bit tired. So Samir's coming in at right back. Pasquale, uh, equally, is having to play not fully fit because we don't have Nikolic registered either. Dirkovic picked up an injury; he's got a gashed leg. So Vieira's stepping into, stepping into goal for him. Uh, but apart from that, the rest of the players, sort of, you know, Nosson, Acevedo, Bellingham, Mannion, Khalid, Antelic, Conte, and White, everyone's happy. Our defence, I'm concerned. This could be. This could be pretty bad, but you know, we'll see. It's the league. I want to win the league. That's the one I'm more interested in. So I don't really mind if we lose this and go out because that will have been, you know, classic. It will allow us to concentrate elsewhere, won't it? Crosser goes in. It's a goal. Lorenzo Lucker, 25th goal of the season. We're under a minute and uh, already losing. That's that's fine. That's fine. Absolutely woeful start. Highlights Samir on the ball, throws it into Antelich. Antelich makes a little bit of space for himself, finds Ben White. Ben White finds Samir. Samir, on his debut, scores. Equalising goal. Wow. <laughs> Brilliant. What a goal. What a goal. He, he starts the move with the throw-in. Gives it to Antelich. Antelich finds a bit of space. I think he finds Ben White in the middle. And then Ben White lays it off to Samir. Brilliant. First time. Bash. Right into the net. Oh. Brilliant. Love that. Love that. <laughs> God, we're having loads of shots and none of them on target. We're only two shots on target out of ten. A lot of them are blocked. Blocked shots and often it says to me we're snatching at our chances a little bit. Maybe we're not unable to break down. Who's taking all these bloody blocked shots? Bellingham's had one. Mannion. Khalid. Khalid. And Ben White. Oh, Khalid's a bit... Mm. What about the off-target shots? 
Acevedo, those would be headers, I guess. Ben White, David Contney, Jean Louis Mannion. Mannion, I think I need to not. Right, Mannion and Bellingham. Let's have them not shoot so much. Start. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Bellingham off and I'm going to put Sam Martin in the, the advanced playmaker to shoot those off and already on him. And then we've got Rain Shirky out on the left. Right, let's get him out for the second half. Um, I'm not going to change anything because I think we're playing like well enough. I might lower the tempo a little bit just to, to try and manage some energy levels. But, you know, I think we're playing well enough. I don't really have to worry too much. So only, we've limited them to two shots despite them having more of the ball. Corner swung's in. Swung's in. Acevedo clears it. And there's Ray and Shirky to pick up the loose ball. Are we on? The, no, we're not on the count. No, the, the end of the highlight. End of the highlight. Pasquale throwing Sam Martin on the ball. Gives it back to Pasquale. Gives it to Sam Martin. Antelich. Spines David Conte. Yes! David Conte. 2 1. Oh, I think I was going to take him off. I am going to take him off, though, because he is absolutely shattered. We'll have Voet on, I think, out on the right hand side rather than Harvey Elliott, because Harvey Elliott could also do with a break. Got a lot of fixtures piling up because we're in three competitions. Still, naturally, we're, you know, league, we're in the Cup, we're in the League, and the Champions League, so the fixtures are starting to pile up. We do have better depth, but not great depth. Another highlight, 78 minutes on the clock. We've only got 10, well, 12 minutes or so of this game to go. I really, I would like to win this, obviously. You know, there's, there's still some really, really good teams in the Champions League, but I think we can, on our day, give anyone a run for their money. Here we go. Vow it on the counter. We've got Ben White ahead of him. Good tackle from Fatih Nizam. Finds Ben White. Ben White. Yes, does make it three. What is that? Did you see that? 99? There's been a massive clash in the middle of the park there. Look at these two players just down in absolute agony. Voet and who is it? Fatih Nizam? Yeah. Oh, they both come off that poorly. Very poorly. Ben White. That was a tackle in the end that put the ball into Ben White's path. Yeah, Voet's coming off injured. Bugger. Are they down to 10 as well? No, they're not. Fatih Nizam is absolutely fine, but Voet is injured by Fatih Nizam. That's really disappointing. Five minutes of extra time to go. We're going to win this 3-1, I think. Yes, we are. Come on. Ah, oh, three to four weeks. Oh, well, luckily we've got Ben White and David Conte as well. We've had a terrible time with injuries this season. Let me just show you our, uh, our injury history. Ronnie Edwards missed four months. Dickman missed three months. Ray and Cherky's missed two months. Samir, uh, two months. No, not with us, I don't think. Pasquale's been out for five weeks. Singo, three. Bowett now out for four. Lee, Declan Rice, Joe Antonio, Ronnie Nossen. Like, we've had... Big injuries. Right, right, right. We will come back, I think. We'll come back, I think, for the second leg of the, the Leon game and then the Hoffenheim game. So that's going to be Monday, and I will see you here for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. All the best. Bye.